Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, April 25th, 2022 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I remind my mind of what is important. And that is going to be important <laughs> this week. We have a big astro week. Um, some, some of it's feeling more supportive and some may be feeling a little bit more challenging but I will remind you that the astro energies are always working for you to help you shift grow evolve it's ultimately how you utilize these energies that matters and that's kind of what I try to do in the scopes and even in the readings I do is like how can we best utilize this energy so that being said let's just take a glance at this week ahead um, so we're going to be moving into dark of the moon, into our first eclipse of 2022. This first eclipse will be on Saturday. It is in the sign of Taurus. Um, it is a, a partial solar eclipse. However, it's not whether it's partial or full that adds to the intensity. It is the connections. It is where it is in your chart. So do be aware of that. I will say that there will probably be worth and money stuff um, coming up as we build to this eclipse. So just be aware of that within yourself and do keep in mind there's more than enough love in the world for you. And love means money. It means food. It means actual love. Um, we do live on an abundant planet and it's important to remember that and lean into abundance rather than fear. This doesn't mean don't be practical, but lean into abundance. <laughs> lean into knowing we are all here, most of us, working together for good. <laughs> so that's important. Um, speaking of not leaning into fear, we have Pluto going retrograde this week. So most of the planets go retrograde at some point during a year or every two years. Uh, Pluto's no different with that. Pluto only moves a few degrees. Chances are you're really only going to feel this if Pluto's working your degrees. So Pluto's at 28 degrees Capricorn right now. If you have something at 28 degrees, you may be feeling it. It will retrograde back to 27 degrees. That is the United States Pluto return degree. Um, I believe it'll actually go back to 26. I didn't look. Oh, my handy dandy sheet that I make at the beginning of the year. Now would be a good time to look. Why not? Pluto. Uh, yeah, 26 degrees all the way through October. So, um, but this is taking internal the transformation game. Um, and so keep that in mind. We'll go deeper into it in the daily scope, but really stepping into the transformation game as a personal thing um, and really looking at power how how it flows and are you appreciating the flow of power in your life or are you giving too much of it away or are you trying to whether on purpose or not uh manipulate power or take on take on too much so this will be a good time to look into that besides that we have venus making several lovely connections and this is nice I like these connections. Venus will be connecting with Neptune in the sign of Pisces. It will be connecting with Jupiter in the sign of Pisces. But as we are, you know, building to the challenge of this first eclipse, um, watch with the escapism, watch with overdoing, and also <laughs> watch out for a little too much, this is a last moment decision to do this, of the rose-colored glasses. As much as I love these, with Jupiter connect, or Venus connecting with Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces, we, we do want to be aware of what's going on. We want to find our balance, right? So <laughs> watch the rose-colored glasses, especially if they are heart-shaped like mine. All right, so that being said, let's look at today's energy. Today is so much easier than this weekend. Those squares, oh my gosh, it just felt so much like every hope flying away <laughs> looking at reality versus versus the vision and yet saturn in aquarius these energies in aquarius the moon finishing up in aquarius through the early morning of today um remind us 
that your vision is important. And as we have the moon moving into Pisces, joining Mars, Venus, Neptune, and Jupiter already there, keeping in the daydream, um, holding space for some time of rose-colored glasses is still important. Again, it's part of the balance. Hope is an important thing. Again, we can we need to look at reality, but we need a place where we can also dream. And so the moon in Pisces over the next few days is helping us hold the dream, all right? So moon in Pisces um, connecting to the sun, a sextile with the sun. We may be feeling some lazy cat. <laughs> sun in Taurus, moon in Pisces energy. Take time to take it easy. Take time to allow the daydream. I, I often think that we get tired for reasons and sometimes where it's like, oh my gosh, you just have to get out of your head. Today is, it has some strong mental energy going on. So taking the time to use your illusion, to use that mental energy for support, um, for goodness, to connect, connect with beauty, connect with the universe will be very good, very important. So if you lazy cat, enjoy the daydream. Also watch for your dreams. Oh my gosh. <laughs> because again, as we're moving towards the eclipse, the subconscious is like, all right, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Let's process this stuff. Uh, we will have the moon and Mars conjunct 551 uh, PM Pacific time. Moon and Mars are always an interesting collaboration. My feeling is, is that there may be some emotions coming up we may be feeling some frustration. When it comes to Mars, a lot of times it's like flip of a coin, passion or frustration. And a lot of times it defers to uh, frustration because we feel like we're blocked from, from the passion, from that dry, our drive of desire, right? And so the frustrations may come up. And I will remind you, I, I'm pretty sure I have this card. I don't have, the, I thought I had the in the flow card. Yes, that was another reading I did earlier. Sometimes I'm like... What are the cards? Um, but at the top of the cards, I have the patience card. Um, so we're definitely needing patience with this energy. And again, as we're building to the eclipse, Pluto retrograde, we have this adventure card. There are some things that we need to look at and face. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, right? The <laughs> celebration card, I get by with a little help from my friends. Hard times require furious dancing. Pisces rules the feet, so dancing could be a really strong option in and through these energies. That being said, Spirit's like, please don't forget there are so many more possibilities that your head has not even begun to dream up. So especially if you're feeling the frustration, if you are feeling the antsy, if you're feeling that your hopes flew away. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's a quote. Like hope flies on golden wings. Isn't there some quote about that or a poem that just popped into my head? Another thing, um, I always love to pay attention to the song that pops up before the scope. It was, I remember, and this line that jumped out at me, you don't have to give up to let go. And so keep that in mind, because with all this Pisces energy, there is a divine plan, there is a divine flow, and sometimes we are like running our head into the door, trying to do this thing and spirits like oh my gosh if you would just turn away from that doorway that's closed look at this one that's wide open that's like opening up to this field of colors that you desire keep that in mind in this energy taurus can be so stubborn and as we are in taurus we are all being stubborn right now so just keep that in the back of your mind if you keep slamming your head on the same closed door right <laughs> Um, the final card is so good to reminder, uh, as a reminder too, source card. This card always serves as a card to me to remember to be grounded, um, connect, to get, connect to God, universe, creator within yourself. Realize that we are always in an act of co-creation. So again, if you're slamming your head into the door, chances are you are not connecting so much to source, <laughs> right? You might be connecting more to ego in this case. So... Just keep that in mind. But I think I think this is the key card. Dance it out, right? <laughs> but I think today will be slightly better than this weekend. If you struggle this weekend like I did. <laughs> I was like driving and thinking. I was like, oh my gosh. I've been hit by my scope. I am feeling exactly what I wrote. And it's always, I don't remember it like 
piece of me, like I don't remember it in real time because it comes through like this and it's telling like, what's happening? What's going on? And it's like, oh, I said this. Okay, this was the wisdom. This is how to move through it. So keep in mind the patience. All right, so last chance to get a reading um, for this eclipse. The eclipse will be, like I said, on Saturday. I will be digging into that piece by piece this week, so stay tuned for that. You can always book a regular reading as well. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. Namaste.